A. Connor Cougar and all the other schools in Suffolk, Elam, in Suffolk. Today I want to show you how to make your own portable hand sanitizer, lotion, or soap, or whatever you want. You need four key ingredients. One, a balloon. Two, a empty water bottle. Three, hand sanitizer, soap, or lotion, or whatever you want. I'm going with hand sanitizer today. And scissors. First thing that you need to do is open your bottle. Take the cap and the cap off the bottle. If you are young, you will need parent supervision for this or have a parent do it. But what you're going to be doing is you're going to be cutting, you're going to be cutting open this bottle and taking off the cap just like this. But if you're very young, you need you will need parent supervision. Once you have this, what you want is a smaller version of this. So what you need to do is cut is cut a line straight down the middle. Then you need to like turn to the side in that line. Or just cut more lines and keep turning. Because you need to try to cut a small piece off and try not to have any sharp edges or anything like that because this is meant for you to be using and you don't want to get hurt. So just go around after you cut it and start getting rid of all the sharp edges. Try to get it as small as possible. If you do have sharp edges, just slice them off. If you want, you can have a parent do this. Because you do need strong, hard scissors for this. I've cut it so I have no sharp edges and no nothing. So, now what you're going to do is you're going to grab the balloon I showed you guys that you need earlier. Slide the balloon in. Then you're going to put the balloon over the cap. Is that okay? So, pick it up. And now you need to grab both sides. And slide it on. Just like this. If you have any trouble, you can ask a parent, a sibling, or an older child to do it for you. In the end, it should end up It should end up looking like something that has the balloon. Sorry, I'm having technical difficulties getting it on. But once you have it on, like this, it should look like this. You should be able to stick your finger through it. You want to make sure you can put the lid. You want to make sure you can put the lid on. Because if you can't, then this project will not work. So you have your lid and your balloon cap. Try to spin on your lid. Once your lid is on, try to squeeze out all the extra air. Once you take off your lid, squeeze out all the extra air. Then you're going to grab um, your soap, hand sanitizer, or lotion. Pop the cap off. And with soap or hand sanitizer, with soap or lotion, you, you'll put the nozzle here and just squeeze it in. With my hand sanitizer, I'm just going to stick it upwards and squeeze in. Just like this. And once you have the amount that you want in your balloon, you can seal it off. And you guys will have a balloon full of sanitizer full of lotion, full of soap, um, whatever you want. 
and they're great for on the go. Because say you're going to, you have to go to the bathroom in a public place. You can use this for your hands once you've went to the bathroom. If you did soap, say the soap is out, or you just don't want to touch the soap nozzle, you can use yours. And with lotion, your hands are dry, you can just wash your hands. That's all you need to do for this project. I hope you guys enjoy doing this project. It, it's a ton of fun and it's very, very useful. It worked really efficiently and it's great. If you don't know what efficiently means, it just means it works good. So, once you've finished, you can use it whenever you go somewhere. Keep it in your purse, keep it in your bag, whatever. Bye guys, I hope you enjoy making this project and have a great time doing it and great use of it. Bye Connor Cougars and all the other schools.